Well, after all the kerfuffle. Welcome back then. And we're out. So in the last video, I was doing some jobs and I was packing up the van. So that was actually yesterday. And Maximus was adamant we were leaving yesterday, even though it was getting on for 11 o'clock by the time we were finished. So we set off probably about, I don't know, quarter past 11, somewhere around there. And I drove till around one. So we stayed just by uh, Middlewich, just by, on an industrial estate by the police station. We're just on the M42 now, outside of Bromsgrove, and we're heading down south, down south. And he's doing well, he looks really good. I'm really pleased with how he's all turned out. He's got his stickers on the side now. The awning is causing no problems at all. We've had a couple of comments saying that that awning would be a nightmare. Perfect, it's bungeed up, it's in a case and it's not causing any problems at all and it's solid, no movement at all in it. So that's a winner. I ended up managing to get these two done locally, I picked them up uh, yesterday or the day before and got them on, um, the front bonnet one. I've not managed to sort the bonnet out yet and touch it up and then lacquer it over. So we've left that one for now, but yeah. He's free to roam, is our Wolfie. All his wheels and his tyres are looking really good. Terrific. He's terrific, isn't he? So we're just going to have a coffee, stretch the legs, let Freya out and have a rest break because a couple of hours driving is enough for me in any one point in time. So we'll have 15 minutes now and a nice brew and then we'll get cracking again. decided to come into the, uh, the national park and find a park up. There's another couple of people here on this one as well, but we're over there in the corner. We've just leveled up and thankfully we're earlier tonight than we were last night because that was a late one last night. Wow, I've been so tired today because I didn't sleep very well either. Um, just aches and pains and I put the ibuprofen in the boot so I couldn't get off, I was aching bit anyway yeah we're parked over there in the corner and Max is just uh, he's had his little scoot and he's on his iPad now but it's pretty here we've just uh, I thought there was a view but it looks like all these young trees have come up dog duty uh, yeah so Sunday night there's not going to be a video tonight unfortunately because I've just had no time to edit so you'll be behind when you see this or you'll be ahead when you see it anyway we'll already be over in France by the time you see this but a nice little spot and it's really quiet they seem really quiet the neighbours so I like their setup over there much more storage space with a roof box and a back box on as well. Great idea. Is it nice now? Nice and cool. It's been so warm today driving down. Missed the aircon in the van. Wow, it's been so warm. Anyway, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> 
because I'm going to go to bed. I'm shattered. And uh, we'll start again tomorrow. Tomorrow is AHC Collection from Abu El Vets in Folkestone. And then we've got the tunnel at, I think it's 8.15 or something like that. We always get there a couple of hours before because they tend to put you on a one before. Well, last time we, we've not been since pre-COVID, but they tend to stick you on the one before if they've got space. Is Siri not talking? Hi. Anyway, we need an early night, don't we? Just had a fire. What's the waffle like? Who's just had a fire? We are. on the beach at Folkestone, oh, it was Sandgate I think it was called, Sandgate Beach. Uh, some friends who were travelling as well, they pulled up behind us just as we were leaving, so they missed us because we were all packed up ready to go. But we're off now. In 150 yards, in the roundabout, continue straight onto Park Farm Road. We're off now, up to a little viewpoint to see if we can see the trains. We're gonna have some tea up there before we catch, or before we head in and check in. We've just picked up some last supplies, some water and stuff, uh, just to see us through for the next day. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on the wrap. It's been warm today though, Cracky. It was warm down up front, wasn't it? About. Take the second exit onto Churchill Avenue, A259. Nice though, with the breeze. Yeah, it's comfortable, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just, it's just hard for, for, for us with no air con and fray air. But when we put all the... roundabout onto Churchill Avenue. Sat now, shh. Uh, we put all the blinds up and... Um, put the Max Air. Put the Max Air fan on full. Put the Max Air fan on full blast and had it coming in and all the windows open but all the blackouts in. So it was really quite cool inside. Yeah, I mean I went and checked on her didn't I she wasn't she was cool. Oh yeah, but her body temperature was cool. She was much she warmed up quick when she came outside because she's black coated, isn't she? So it makes a big difference. So we're up to the little viewpoint and I'll show you when we get there.
have you been doing? Pinching all your sweets. You've been pinching all my sweets? <laughs> and what did you have for tea? Uh, bacon body. Yeah, mm. and where, where, where are we looking at? Trains. The trains, yeah. Terrific. It was a nice spot for tea, wasn't it? Terrific train. Yeah, the train. Are we going on the train soon? Yes. Are we going to go and get in the queue in a minute? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's nearly time. Nearly time again. <laughs> Uh, right, what do we need? We need the UK badge and the Angs, Morts and all sorts of bits and bobs to sort out. our gate straight away we've just got through and they've opened the gate so it looks like we're going on great stuff Nine minutes that top. So 29 minutes later and we're out the other side and just coming into uh, Calais now so it'll probably be five or six minutes before we can uh, disembark but you've got to love the train. One more thing remember to drive on the right. <laughs> 